Hi, Howie Jacobson here, down here in the corner, uh, sitting in my hotel room, and just wanted to talk to you briefly about the placement performance report, which you can find in your report center in your Google AdWords interface. And the question is, what can you do with this report? And I'm going to tell you three things you can do. The first thing is, if you have bad clicks, you can delete those pages. So we take a look here. What we've got is, I'm sorting by the cost, and each of these is a URL, a page on the content network where my ads are showing. And you can see here, um, paying under $200, making $1,500. That's very cool. Here I'm paying 50, making 80. That's less cool, but it's still 30 bucks. Here it's a four times rate of return. Here I'm doubling my money. Here, whoa, Nelly, 29.93, no sales. 27 and no sales. Oh boy, these two pages should not be here. I can either exclude them, or sometimes Google doesn't let you exclude pages with this many subdomains in it. So I could exclude the whole um, arthritisabout.com from here and put the specific pages that are working, like these, into their own placement targeted ad group. That's number one, bad clicks. Number two, bad impressions. You can't see it here because I have sorted this. So I only show um, pages that have more, more than 100 clicks. But if you don't put in that filter, you'll find a ton of impressions that get no clicks. And so, for example, the closest one I've got down here is this one here. 96,000 clicks and 120, 96,000 impressions, 123 clicks. So what that's saying is that basically this page doesn't really attract my market. So, you know, you know, sometimes it's much more stark than this. A million impressions, three clicks. If you know that, then you know that, well, your total numbers are not exactly this many impressions. It's like holding a business card next to the highway and saying, hey, honey, 53,000 people saw my ad this week. Well, they drove by it, but they didn't see it. They weren't looking for it. It wasn't important to them. Bad impressions, just be aware of it. The click-through rate problem doesn't hurt you on the content network. Number three, pretty good domains or URLs, but not great. So look at this one over here, 29,000 some e easy in articles. Well, how about this one here, uh, arthritis.about.com 10.htm. So I have to go look at that page. And look at this, 185 clicks. I got one sale, spent 20 bucks. Well, what if I could triple that or quadruple it? What if I go to that page, check it out, and write an ad specifically for that page? that's talking about exactly the things that really is a market to message match. And then I put that page on the, on the, uh, pl in a placement campaign all by itself. And pretty soon I'm sure I'd be getting a much better response rate than that. And I can do that with any of my okay URLs or domains. I can put them in their own placement targeted, um, campaign and write an ad just for that split test, a couple ads. And pretty soon, Either I will, have, I will have kept my really profitable ones, I will have knocked off and gotten rid of my unprofitable ones, and I would have, to have tweaked my mediocre ones till they're good. So that's three things you can do with a placement performance report. This is Howie Jacobson from AskHowie.com. You can go there and learn tons more. You can also get my book, AdWords for Dummies, Chapter 14. 14? One of them. talks a lot about the conversion tracking, and the reports that you should be running to make your business as profitable as it can be. That's all for now. Have a great time. Bye-bye.